Hello and welcome to my weird and wonderful wardrobe, Lord Josh here. It's been a little while since the previous episode in the series. In today's episode, we are going to the Far East. I know what you're thinking, finally Lord Josh, you are showing off and reviewing your robes, at long last indeed. We are 14 or 15 videos in, sorry it's taken so long but I feel like this is the perfect time to showcase my Chinese outfits. As many of you know, I'm a Taoist magician, I consider myself a spiritual student of Zhuge Liang, and I'm an avid fan, no pun intended, of the Three Kingdoms era of China. I have read the novel, watched all the TV shows, played the games, I can't get enough of it. I have upwards of 15 robes in all colours from all different eras of Chinese history. So why not start with the most colourful robe in my collection, the Emperor's Honfu robe. I want to make this clear before I start, nobody is paying me anything to say this, these are my real and honest opinions. I bought this whole outfit from a website called China Cart which specializes in creating historical clothing. 90% of the robes you see me wearing are from China Cart. I'm a very loyal customer and I've been shopping on there for years. I bought this outfit in 2016 and I've used it many times. Let's start with the hat. Check this out. This hat is actually custom made. Of course it is, it's a Lord Josh video, hello. You usually get them in black but I already had a black one, so I figured why not go blue. It's made of silk with gold braiding. It's very lightweight, and it was made famous by the legendary Kong Ming. Zhuge Liang wore a similar hat in Romance of the Three Kingdoms. It's a beautiful example of Chinese craftsmanship, great quality, perfect fit, nice contrasting colors. It's certainly a formal hat, not a casual one. It's something a scholar or a minister would wear in a professional ceremonial setting. The undergarment robe is a dark navy blue with embroidery. I love the elegance and mysterious gracefulness that this robe has. You could totally wear this on its own. The fabric is soft and comfortable. It feels substantial to the touch which is always a good sign. This blue, I'm not sure if the camera does it justice, but it's such a deep blue, like a midnight shade. Then you have this contrasting light aqua blue color, which is very eye-catching. It adds a whole other layer to the robe. You can see the skirt here is in the same fabric and color. The sleeves are typical of Han Dynasty clothing, long and loose. The decorations are truly beautiful. Look how awesome this is. It's like something a mystic would wear. This level of detail is greatly appreciated by people like me who love Chinese culture. I sent my measurements into China Cart. The customer service is excellent. Sonny Wong, who responds to the messages, has always done a great job. I just want to say, Sonny Wong, if you are watching this, thank you for all the years of great customer service. You have always treated me like a king, like an emperor. And this video is dedicated to you and the team at China Cart. You guys deserve it. So my measurements have always been perfect. The tailoring here is superb and I'm very happy with the way this turned out. Now onto the belt and sash. This beautiful golden color, my favorite. We love a little gold around here, don't we? Actually, we like a lot of it. What I would call a glory gold because it inspires feelings of victory, success, power, and glory. That's my morning diet. We have a stunning black dragon with great detailing. Look at this epic mythical dragon. It inspires such an imperial and majestic quality that you absolutely want from an emperor's outfit. There's wispy clouds surrounding the dragon. This may be Ying Long, a rain deity, otherwise known as the responding dragon who creates clouds with his breath. 
On the sash itself, we have these buttons. Everything feels like it's built to last, and indeed it has. Keep in mind, I've had this robe and I've wore it countless times, and it still looks brand new from 2016. What I really love about this is the fabric here. I don't know what fabric this is exactly, but it looks so regal and stately. It's ornate, as it should be. I have a very serious weakness for opulence, if you haven't already guessed. I just wanted to make sure you didn't forget it. It fits comfortably around the waist, and when you sit down like so on your mahogany throne, you see how great it actually looks. Onto the Kongming Feather Fan, made famous by Kongming himself. I'm going to keep this brief because I'm already working on a separate video of the fan. This one is custom made by China Cot. That's right, they make fans too. They can make anything, and I mean anything. If you send them a drawing of your dream robe, they'll be able to create it for you. I've had this fan for many years. It's one of my favorites, along with the white one, which is again, another China Cot creation. Dark feathers with a Bogwa centerpiece conveying the eight triagrams, a pre-heaven arrangement by the way, and you can see the Taiji, it has a gold yong instead of a white yong. I needed this tiny specific detail for my Taoist rituals. This fan is a replica of Zhuge Liang's fan from Romance of the Three Kingdoms 1994. I sent Sonny pictures from that show and the team perfectly captured the likeness. Now onto the main outer garment. Look at this. I live and breathe for stunning robes like this. I don't even know where to start. This is larger than life. That's how I like it. You've got embroidery, patterns, dragons, flowing silk. When it all comes together, it really does look like the emperor himself has resurrected from the tomb. Let's start at the top. First of all, look at the shoulders. This stunning design creates an extremely masculine, intimidating, powerful silhouette and presence. It increases the perception of having a really strong physique. I don't have the body of an emperor, but I've got the wallet. There's gold embroidery on the black silk, and it has this white border going around it to further emphasize the look. Look how intricate these details are. Details on top of details, expertly crafted. On the collar, there's a very royal looking decoration in gold. Looks great on top of the intense, fiery Chinese red. This red is out of this world. It's shiny and smooth. The fabric is top notch. It does not get any better than this. I love this shade of red. You've got dragons on the arms. The black and red go together so well. The sleeves are nice and big. And when it all comes together, it's quite heavy to wear, but it's still very comfortable. I love how the blue robe underneath is just perfectly being shown off with the golden embroidery. You've got all these nice sort of like aqua colored accents coming through as well. When I spread my arms, I become a phoenix ready to ascend into the Wuji. This whole look is striking. So overall, I'm very happy, delighted with this outfit. Well done to China Cart for creating this masterpiece. Robes are very important to me. They are a major aspect of my spiritual beliefs as a Taoist magician. And I keep all of my Chinese robes in a separate wardrobe from my other clothing. That's how much I respect them. So in the future, I will be showing you more of my China cart robes. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon for more videos from my weird and wonderful wardrobe. Take care.